The head of the Western Defensive Alliance, NATO, has disputed Vladimir Putin's claims that he's moving troops away from the Ukrainian border. Jen Stolenberg said Russia still had a huge force which was ready to attack. Calling on his people to observe a day of unity, the Ukrainian president said a genuine withdrawal would be clear to see. From the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, the BBC's diplomatic correspondent Paul Adams sent this. Well, we're all bracing ourselves for the huge rise in energy prices in April as the cap that Chris mentioned there is raised on household energy costs. This could push many vulnerable people even further into fuel poverty and make the choice between eating and heating even more stark. The Nine's India Grant has more. A man who left a homemade bomb in the centre of Edinburgh has been jailed for more than eight years. Nikolaus Karouvanakis placed the device in Princess Street Gardens four years ago, causing a major security alert. From the High Court in Edinburgh, Joanne McCauley. So uh, this is a westerly. Winds are coming from that direction. Let's see if the worst of it has passed. Chris Blanchett will be here in the next uh, 10 minutes or so to bring us up to speed on exactly what to expect. Yep, we'll have all the latest. Now, more and more treatments are being offered to COVID-19 patients. Antibody and antiviral drugs significantly reduce the chance of getting seriously ill. The BBC's medical editor Fergus Walsh has been to the Royal Victoria Infirmary in Newcastle where the first COVID-19 patient was cared for two years ago. Now then, during the first lockdown, we produced 3.2% more household waste in Scotland. That's according to a new report by Zero Waste Scotland. No great surprise, really, when we think about how much more time we were spending indoors and uh, many of us took the chance to have a bit of a clear out. But to help us understand more about our environmental impact, the Zero Waste haven't just measured the quantity of what we chucked away, but also which materials produced the most carbon right through from manufacturing to disposal. Yeah, what they found was that volume didn't necessarily correlate to environmental impact. Now, just before we get to that all-important weather forecast, here's a nice story. The pupils at St Albert's Primary School in Glasgow, like children across the country, read in class every day. But they felt that the characters that they met in the books didn't reflect their own lives and backgrounds. So they've been getting creative and making their own. Here's our arts correspondent, Polly McLaughlin, this evening. There are reports of some power outages on Isla, Butte and Arran, as well as in the Glen Eagles and Peterhead areas. But the supplier is confident of fixing these tonight, we're told. Yeah, yeah that is some good news. In terms of transport, most rail services should be back up and running in the morning. But the line between Kilwinning and Largsnar Drossen, as we said earlier, is expected to stay closed due to damage caused by a fallen tree. Now, something else we were talking about earlier was uh, the suggestion of power outages in Northern Ireland, Chris Blanchett. The weather's coming from there. Should we expect the full impact?